What's going on guys? It's Brad back and hope you're all having a fantastic day today. Welcome back to another analysis video. Um, I sound like this, a little bit quiet, because I am sick. I have kind of, I've been kind of ill lately. On this past week, had a cough. I feel like cold, I like chills, um, stomach ache, headache, like all those things. But I've been getting better, so don't worry. I need, I would I wanted to make this video um because we've got more security breach news which is cool not too much but a few pictures um before I do get started I want to say a huge or a massive thank you for Daco and Steel um thank you Daco and you know Daco does amazing work so go check him out he did a charity stream um, and Steel will send him a few screenshots, um, in the stream to, and then Daco showed us, and it was a lot of news, actually, and it was kind of shocking what he, uh, what they showed. Daco, or in the stream, they showed a lot of pictures, like I said. Um, I actually have this one as my wallpaper. It's the, I think the Fazbear Blast, because that one was really cool. And my profile picture is like the healthy one right here. So yeah, there was a, a lot of cool um, screenshots or wallpapers shown in the stream. Also, before I get into it, I'm only going to be showcasing the Fred Bear's Family Diner posters. There was a few more that were um, like the Chica one um, and stuff. But I just wanted to do the Fred Bear's Family Diner one because I... I think these ones are more interesting. Okay, so this is the first official Fred, Fred Bear's Family Diner poster. Um, so the reason why I'm saying official is because it says Fred Bear's Family Diner on it, and it's like the first one that we saw. So, or just the first one I'm showcasing. So the first one here is, as you can see, it looks pr it looks pretty vintage. Um, you know, withered. You could see like all the marks on like the lettering, how like the red is fading away. Um, one thing I thought was strange is that it doesn't, that doesn't look like Fred Bear. Y'all know Fred Bear from FNAF 4 and FNAF World, how he was a, it's a yellow bear with a pink or pur purple bow tie and a purple hat. But this one just looks like a, a, a Freddy, really, it doesn't really look like Fred Bear. Um, so, yeah, it, it's pretty interesting. It does have colors, though, um, but it does look pretty vintage. Um, so, yeah, I think the colors just might be painted or whatever. There is a theory, though. So, there is a theory <clears throat> going on that after the Bite of 83 that we all know from, um, in FNAF 4, the minigame, um, Fredbear was scrapped forever. So it was like, that's what I think. I I do agree with that. I think um, Fred Bear was scrapped. So they added Freddy. And I guess he's Fred Bear now. Maybe. Because um, it's weird because we do have Spring Bonnie. But I do. I'll go over to that later. Um, yeah, it's, it's pretty weird. Um, but how it's Freddy instead of Fred Bear. Like... I think after the Bite of 83 incident, they just took him out. Um, and it's also pretty weird that in the number, like on the left part of the poster, um, in the very end it says 083-83. So the next poster is, um, as you can see, Freddy um, eating a pizza. And, and obviously says, uh, join us at Fred Bear's Family Diner. So, uh, again... That is not Fred Bear, that's Freddy. That is, there's no yellow or purple colors. That is Freddy, that is not Fred Bear. Um, so again, theory is that, you know, Fred Bear after the bite incident got scrapped out and now Freddy came in play. So they replaced Freddy and forgot about Fred Bear. Um, I do think that I really like that theory. Um, let me know in the comments 
um, if you agree or disagree about the theory or if you have any other theories. I'm really liking these posters. They look really great. Um, and it's crazy how we're finally getting, this is the first time getting official Fred Bear's Family Diner posters or anything, um, which is crazy. I've been wanting this for a while. Um, so it's kind of weird though that it, it's like the Fred Bear Family Diner posters or anything for Fred Bear's Family Diner is being reviewed reviewed in um, FNAF Security Breach. We'll talk about that later. So the last um, f Fred Bear's Family Diner poster um, that was shown in the live stream is this one right here, which has Spring Bonnie on it. Uh, but what's interesting it has a similar aspect to Glitch Trap. That's when I first saw it, I actually just thought of Glitch Trap straight away. I didn't even think of Spring Bonnie. Like, I just forgot about him. I'm sorry, but hey, that's why I, that's what I thought. Um, so yeah, as we know from the teaser that Spring or Glitch Trap will be back in Security Breach, which is really awesome. It's also got the <clears throat> same purple eyes as uh, Spring Bonnie or Glitch Trap and the same purple boat bow ties as um glitch trap and last it says that there's new menu items and it has a milkshake which is pretty cool so you can see that um on the spring bonnie poster it has the yellow tint you know the yellow spring bonnie from like you know fredbear's family diner but then from the poster earlier from freddy or from fredbear's family diner that's freddy that's not fredbear which is pretty interesting so my question that I keep on asking is, where has Fredbear gone? Where the hell is Fredbear? Like, he's not shown anywhere. Like, where is Fredbear? Weird, because we've seen Fredbear before in FNAF World, FNAF, FNAF, FNAF World, um, which is, you know, the yellow bear with the purple bow tie, the purple hat, and then, um, the, you know, that's Fredbear that we all know, but then these, this poster, it... You know, it has just Freddy, you know, the black bow tie, black hat, with blue eyes. I'm still leaning forward to the, you know, the theory where Fredbear got scra uh, scrapped forever after a bite of 83. But it's weird. But I am mean, at, you know, they, then they just like focus on the Spring Bonnie suits instead of the Fredbear suits. So those were all the posters for Fredbear's Family Diner shown in the stream. Um, and it's cool, it's, I, I think it's really cool, these posters, um, a lot of people might think, um, they're just posters, but, um, these, I mean, I've been a fan for since this game has been released, since I was, like, five years old, and I've loved it ever since, and having Fredbear's, official Fredbear's family diner stuff is really cool, because I've been waiting for a while. I've always wanted a Freddy Bear's Family Diner game. Because it's finally not just, you know, the mini games, the phone calls from the old places talking about Freddy Bear's Family Diner. Now we have actually official stuff like posters and merchandise and vintage um, items from Freddy Bear's Family Diner. So, like I said, I wanted to talk about why are these posters been shown, or why are these posters posters being shown in security in a security breach. I'm gonna go like this. I'm gonna tell two reasons why, like most likely, you know, Fredbear's Family Diner could come back or anything about you know Fredbear's Family Diner. First, um, in the original trailer, FNAF Security Breach, in behind the glass doors or the glass cabinets, you can see. Old items used like heads and um, other items. Uh, so I'm thinking, or a lot of people have been thinking, and I can agree with this, that there's going to be a museum, um, which I think that would be so cool, being a, having a FNAF museum in the mall. Because, um, you know, a lot of places, uh, you know, have that. Like Disney World has that, I'm pretty sure. Um, other places as well. Where they have like 
the history, you know, of Disney or, you know, like old items and vintage stuff, which would be really cool if that was added. Which is perfect for Fredbear's Family Diner, and that's why I think these posters are around the place where it's like, oh, you could check out, you know, the museum and all history about FNAF, which I think would be really cool, and I would love that, that to be in the game. Also, before I go to the second reason why, I really hope that there will be, like, in the building, or like in the museum, There'll be like a big cla glass cabinet with like Fredbear and the Spring Bonnie model, like the original ones, and see if they're still working or just some new ones, which would be, I think that would be really cool where they're, you know, moving around and stuff, still working, I guess. That would be really awesome to see. So, if you guys read FNAF or the Silver Eyes book, the graphic novel, I recommend you guys it. It's really good. I've reread it like five times it's amazing it's a great book um this leads me on to the second reason why um because in the FNAF Silver Eyes book as you can see in this picture it's shown that or ironically the mall was there was a mall or there's a mall on top of Freddy Fazbear's Pizza so the original story is that um, or in the book, you know, the mall is on top of Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. And in the book, you could see them breaking in or, you know, going, you know, climbing through it and trying to get in Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. And then, boom, they get there. And it was just how, like, all the old remains and the weathered kind of. And, like, it was, like, the how it was you know, Freddy Fazbear's Pizza before it got shut down. Can you imagine how cool it would be in, like, Security Breach, like, under the mall? There's, like, Fredbear's Family Diner, and, like, we have, like, a final boss fight with Glitch Trap. So that's, like, his domain, his house, and then we find him, and it's all his power because it's, like, negative Renman, all over it, all the horror stuff started. That would be so cool. So, um, those were my two final thoughts. Um, the most likely one would be there, there would be like a museum. All the old, uh, and withered stuff from Fredbear's Family Diner. Um, and my, I guess, least likely, but the one I really wish that could happen is the one where, like, under the mall, there's Fredbear's Family Diner. It's still there. And like Glitch Trap is there, um, which would be really awesome. That's the one I hope for, but that's probably least likely. And also my third one, I guess, is really least likely, like the most one, like that. I don't think will happen is like being they're teasing a new, you know, a Fredbear game. I don't know why would it, they would do that in a live stream. I think they would just do that and like. Like, uh, out of nowhere, like, mystery, mystery kind of, and then, like, you know, do a whole trailer for it. Not in Daco's, like, cherry stream. So, I don't think there would be a Fredbear's Family Diner game, but there, it would be cool just having a Fredbear's Family Diner spot in um, Security Breach. Anyways, it is amazing that Steel Wool made um, official Fredbear's Family Diner posters because we haven't had... Official posters for Fredbear's Family Diner in seven years. So, seven years of FNAF. So, Security Reach is coming out really soon, around December 16th, 2020, 2021, my bad. Uh, so, in around a month or so, which is really cool. I can't wait for Security Breach. Now, my dogs are barking. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um... Um, thank you for watching, obviously. Um, I know I'm kind of late. I've been, you know, obviously kind of sick, and I didn't want to make a video where I'm coughing every 10 seconds at my throat. And, like, so, yeah, I haven't been feeling that well, but I'm getting better, so don't worry. But, uh, yeah, that's really it. Thank you for watching uh, for me showcasing the new posters um, and everything that we've seen in Daco's, uh charity stream. So, yeah. 
Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure to like, subscribe, um, and, um, dang, um, my ad's been everywhere. Make sure to like, subscribe, turn on notifications, notifications so you never miss a video because I tend to disappear sometimes, even though, uh, honestly, I've been going on a streak. I've been uploading pretty consist consistently, you know, so I'm kind of proud of myself for that. New uploads will be coming out, actually. I might upload tomorrow, which is pretty cool, you know. Yeah, that's really it. I hope you guys enjoyed. And see y'all next time. Bye-bye.